So if you ask me, what is my projection for 2021? I'm projecting a strong year in real estate. So I'm gonna look at everything on a micro level because Los Angeles County is definitely different than the rest of the country as a whole. And I know these experts were quoting and talking about the United States on a macro level. But I do think that Los Angeles County is gonna have, and Southern California is gonna have strong appreciation this year, right? I think that, uh, like the like the Zillow economist said, six to 10%, I think that we're gonna be somewhere in the eight to 10% ballpark, just because it tends to be a hotter market. A lot of people wanna purchase a home here. I also think that we're gonna have high home ownership rates, right? Mortgage rates are as low as they've ever been. And if you've seen some of our most recent videos, it's actually cost less to purchase a home this year where purchase price is like 10% higher than it was last year just because interest rates are that much lower. And I actually break that math down in that video. So if you haven't seen that video, it might be a good idea to take a look at it and do that math for yourself so you can see that it actually makes more sense to purchase a home this year than it was last year because of the interest rates. But yes, I think that's going to drive a lot of people to purchase their first homes, especially millennials in Generation Z. And millennials have always been a little bit more stubborn to purchase their first homes. Like they're, they're a prime of the millennials are, are now heading into the 30s and mid 30s. So yes, they're finally purchasing their first home. That's going to be driving up demand. Uh, which is also going to be driving up appreciation. Lastly, I do think that we're going to be having an increase in building starts, right? There's an increase in builder confidence already, and the economy is starting to recover. And this is awesome. This is super good news because by the end of the year, hopefully it starts to stabilize prices a little bit, right? And the good thing about building starts is that it creates a bunch of jobs for people so it's awesome in helping the economy that way. It creates a bunch of supply, so it starts to stabilize prices, and it helps people get into their first homes, help people start building equity, start building wealth, right? So these are my projections for 2021. If you have any questions and you want me to try to dig deeper into any one of these projections, just let us know or let me know.